Saturday, November 16th, 2024, Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning into the Future of News, AGNDD Until I Report. We're excited to have you with us here. I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. And now, headlines of the day, Vedanta Aluminium launches comprehensive solutions on Metal Bazaar. Iran cites limited opportunity for nuclear diplomacy. Luke O'Neill, concerns for science if Trump returns, exploring ownership of the next four years, and much more. But first, this day in history. November 16th in history. November 16th, 951. Emperor Li Jing sends a Southern Tang expeditionary force of 10,000 men under Bian Hao to conquer Chu. Li Jing removes the ruling family to his own capital in Nanjing, ending the Chu Kingdom. November 16, 1958. National Airlines Flight 967 explodes in mid-air over the Gulf of Mexico, killing all 42 people aboard. Famous people born on this day. November 16, 1971. Mustafa Haji, Moroccan footballer and manager. November 16, 1955, Jun Kunimura, Japanese actor. Today's trivia questions. Which planet did the Viking 1-inch spacecraft send surface images of starting in 1976? The choices are Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, Mars. Now take a second to think about it. Which planet did the Viking 1-inch spacecraft send surface images of, starting in 1976? Okay, got it. Ready? Mars. Which of these blocks in Minecraft has the lowest blast resistance? The choices are endstone, water, wood planks, sand. Now take a second to think about it. Which of these blocks in Minecraft has the lowest blast resistance? Okay, got it. Ready? Sand. And now on to today's news. General news. This thing that I get elected thanks to TikTok, it drives me nuts, says Simon Harris on political sniping, coping with Crohn's disease, Donald Trump, and the price of a liter of milk. Independent.ie. In an interview, Simon Harris discusses his political journey, personal challenges, and Fine Gael's proposal to deposit 1,000 euros in a bank account for every newborn in Ireland if re-elected. He addresses political sniping and his experiences as a workaholic father. Iran says there is a limited opportunity for nuclear diplomacy. Voice of America News. Iran's foreign minister expressed that a limited opportunity exists for nuclear negotiations with the West following UN nuclear watchdog head Rafael Grossi's visit. Amid potential diplomatic resolutions, Iran prepares for confrontation or cooperation regarding its nuclear program. Today's trending Google searches. Tennessee versus Georgia, Utah versus Colorado, Texas versus Arkansas, Ohio State versus Northwestern, Mercer versus Alabama, Wisconsin football. LSU versus Florida, Pitt football, Nebraska versus USC. Business news. Vedanta Aluminium to offer 360 degree solutions to buyers on its Metal Bazaar platform, Business Line. Vedanta Aluminium is enhancing its Metal Bazaar platform with app based features for mobile transactions and price risk management. The platform simplifies procurement for SMEs by eliminating intermediaries, offering seamless access to aluminum products, and transforming traditional sourcing methods. The article discusses an agreement that will ensure the survival of a media company by providing necessary financial support or restructuring, allowing it to continue operations amidst challenging economic conditions. Science News Luke O'Neill Trouble ahead for science as Donald Trump regains power. Independent.ie. 
The re-election of Donald Trump poses concerns for U.S. scientists, especially regarding climate change denial. However, it presents an opportunity for Europe to lead in research and development. Today's obituaries. Ilyas Ahmed Bilur, a Pakistani politician and senator since 2012, passed away at the age of 84 on November 16, 2024. Born in Peshawar, he held degrees in arts and business. He managed Flower and General Mills Private Limited and was a member of the Awami National Party. Coloso Colosetti, an Argentine wrestler, was known for his career in Mexico and Southern California. He achieved fame by winning the NWA World Light Heavyweight Championship in 1968 and held the NWA America's Tag Team Championship twice. Colosetti retired in the late 1990s and passed away in 2024 at the age of 76. Mohammed Fazlul Karim was a Bangladeshi jurist who served as the 18th Chief Justice of Bangladesh in 2010. He practiced law at the Supreme Court and was known for his judicial decisions. He passed away at the age of 81 on November 16, 2024. Denise Holstein, a French Auschwitz survivor and Holocaust witness, was born in 1927. After staying silent for decades, she shared her experiences through books and school visits. Arrested during World War II, she survived Auschwitz and was liberated on April 15, 1945. She passed away in November 2024. Hamid Meraki was an Algerian footballer. He played for Genclair Berlegi, MC Alger, and the Algeria national team, including in the 2000 African Nations Cup qualifiers. Nara Ramamurthy Naidu was an Indian politician. He served in the Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly from 1994 to 1999 for the Telugu Desam Party. He was the brother of Nara Chandrababu Naidu and the father of actor Nara Rohit. He passed away at the age of 72 on November 16, 2024. Vladimir Shklyarov, renowned Russian ballet dancer, was a principal at the Mariinsky Ballet. He performed globally with the Bavarian State Ballet and the Royal Ballet. Shklyarov passed away at 39, reportedly from a fall. He was celebrated for his extensive repertoire and numerous awards. Svetlana Svetlichnaya, a Soviet and Russian actress, was known for her role in The Diamond Arm. She was born in 1940 in Leninakan, studied at VGIK, and appeared in notable films such as Anna Pavlova and Goddess How I Fell in Love. She passed away in 2024 at the age of 84. Olav Thon was a prominent Norwegian real estate developer and philanthropist. He founded Norway's largest private real estate company. Initially starting his career in fur trading, he amassed a vast property portfolio. Thon pledged his wealth to charity, focusing on medical sciences. He passed away at the age of 101. Joseph Tsang Mang Kin was a Mauritian poet, political scientist, diplomat, and biographer. He served as Minister of Arts and Culture, contributed to Mauritius's diplomatic efforts, and was involved in promoting cultural and literary exchanges. He was recognized with numerous honors for his contributions to culture and diplomacy. Javier de Villota was a Spanish painter, sculptor, and architect, born in Madrid in 1942. Influenced by his artistic lineage, he had a significant career marked by notable exhibitions until his death in 2024 at the age of 82. Salwa Abu Qadra, a pioneering Palestinian politician and educator, was a key figure in the PLO and Fatah. Born in Jaffa in 1929, she advocated for Palestinian women's education and held various leadership roles. She passed away at the age of 95 on November 15, 2024. For health news. President-elect Trump's health secretary, Pick Kennedy, combines skepticism towards business with unfounded health claims. These include opposing fluoride in water, endorsing unproven COVID-19 treatments, and threatening to prosecute medical journals.
What does it mean to own the next four years? Visit sciencebasedmedicine.org for more information. The article discusses concerns over RFK Jr.'s potential impact on the U.S. medical establishment, particularly regarding vaccines. It highlights the role of Dr. J. Bhattacharya in normalizing anti-vaccine views. The article warns about the resurgence of diseases like whooping cough and measles due to vaccine hesitancy. Entertainment News The HGTV star expressed dissatisfaction with filming the flip-off alongside her estranged husband, stating it was unenjoyable. Tyson vs. Paul, Netflix loses in technical knockout, freerepublic.com. The Netflix stream of the Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul boxing match faced widespread technical issues, leading to viewer frustration. Despite heavy promotion and significant financial investment, the event's streaming failures overshadowed the bout, raising concerns about Netflix's live streaming reliability. And now a couple of dad jokes for you. Did you hear about the cow who jumped over the barbed wire fence? It was utter destruction. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, Hungry, I'm Dad. Thank you for watching this AGN DD and Telly report, dear viewers. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.